Got y'all. We're gonna look at this right. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm like bouncing it around and shit. No home. Wah, I can't even say that on YouTube. All right, this is this is and this is Jazexa's boyfriend. Okay, this is Jazexa's boyfriend. Okay, I'm gonna read it like he would read it. <clears throat> Jocelyn, here's how I got your address. I saw Sad Pat's docs, and I obviously knew one of the addresses were yours. Because he swatted you. So who swatted who? Because people saying, people saying sad past swatted, then people saying Adams fucking doxed you and all that shit. Who's lying? Okay? Because Adam talking about answer the call. Hold on. Okay, you know what? I'm going to answer the call, but I'm still, I'm going to still show the motherfucking screenshots. I'm going to tell you, explain this. Sad pass don't swat. I'm going to answer the call right now. Oh, my nigga Adam's here. All right, bet. Okay, Adam. What we got? Yo, bro, can the stream hear me? Yes, the stream. Wait, hold on. Talk. Yo. Okay, they can hear you. Go ahead. All right. I'm going I'm to I'm go through all of this, okay? Right from the beginning. Okay. So before I go ahead, bro, let me ask you, from me to you, uh, do you have a problem with me? I want to know, because look, this this shit is actually stupid. Like, I was asleep, and Justin just woke me up, and she told me that there's shit going on. And, like, same, like, uh, Adam, like what happened three days Adam, ago. And this Adam. shit's annoying. Like, I want to clear all this up, because Adam. I, honestly... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm responding to, remember you was text like, I told you I was giving you a chance to clear everything up, so this is your chance. That's what I was, I don't have a problem with you, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because I was asleep three days ago when that shit happened, so I didn't get the opportunity to come back. But, the, bro, the crazy thing is, these kids are hating so bad just because she's happy with her, and I'm happy with her. Like, bro, mm. just because she's happy and she's moved on and she's good with me, everyone's hating so bad. Like, that nigga guess... I never had my, his name in my mouth at all. Like, I've never... I don't give a fuck about that, dude. I don't give a fuck about his bitch. She don't care about him. His bitch don't care about her. But they're hating so bad. That, that's the crazy part. So I'm glad I've got my chance to come on this stream and give them an absolute humiliation. Say everything. Uh, and Go tell ahead, them what it... Okay, look. Okay. Um. So, look. I'm going to go back to the back to the beginning. Like, you know how we showed the screen records of when uh, I was backing her ex up? in the in the red x chat mm -hmm. so everyone 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 saw that shit and they're like oh that's crazy and then he came onto that stream like the little fucking pussy he is and he starts saying oh i got so much shit on adam like bro you don't got fuck all on me the red x chat that he showed bro he never showed the date of that chat when i sent those messages to begin with i never insulted jocelyn i never said anything bad about her directly about her all I did was I backed up her ex because that was in the beginning of February. Like, he can go and show the dates right now if he wants to. I guarantee he won't because he's a pussy. All that shit I said in the Red X chat was in the beginning of February when I was close friends with her ex and I was backing him up. Because, bro, if you're friends with someone and someone's uh, putting uh, in you, you, someone spreading supposed rumors about your friend and they're trying to talk down on him, you're going to back your friend up, aren't you? Just like anyone would, because I'm a real ass friend. If I got a boy and he, someone's uh, get shit talking him or there's rumors being spread about him, I'm going to back him up, whether he's in the right or wrong. So at the time when I said that shit, I was friends with her ex. So the fact that I backed him up was completely normal. That's old shit. And just the fact that he's going to come on a stream out of nowhere when I don't give a fuck about him and try and show that shit to cause problems in our relationship, bro, that just proves how much of a little pussy he is. And that's why I've come on here to absolutely violate him. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So, like I said, that Red X chat that he showed, that was all that shit when I was friends with her ex. And the reason I'm not, I basically became like, I cut off from her ex because I realized that dude's just a fucking weirdo. Like, all the time... All he'd ever do is just use me for donals. Like, that. that I don't want to go off on him or anything. Damn. Uh, wait, wait. He's, who, he's not. Guess? No, uh, bro, her ex, man. Justin's ex. Oh, Arsenal. You know Ar okay, okay, okay. He would yeah. use me. Okay. Okay, so. But he, I don't want to go uh, and start saying shit about him because at the moment, I don't have a reason to. He's not. 
done anything to me though. But I'ma just say, like the dude's a fake guy. Like I used to donor to him all the time. I used to donor big to him on all of his streams. And he used to act like he was a good friend and he used to he used to he used to talk to me. But then I realized, bro, I gave him the litmus test. I basically I stopped I stopped donating to him for a few days just so to see, see how see he his react. reaction. See his reaction. Yeah, okay. and bro, I swear on everything I love, I'd never get a text from that dude if I weren't donating to him on his streams. Like he wouldn't give a. It'd be like I never existed to him if I didn't donate to him on his streams. And it's sad because like, bro, I was there feeding his family for days upon <laughs> Yo, days, weeks wait, upon weeks. Wait, wait, wait! Week. You was feeding that nigga's family. Bro, dead ass, man. He's never got that amount of donors from anyone that he's got from me in just those days. Like, I was donating wild to him. Like, literally just helping him out. Because I knew he had obviously... He was going through a hard time, like, relationship-wise and stuff. And uh, I was there for him as a real friend, you know? I was backing him up if people ever talk shit about him. Uh, I donated to him and stuff like that. And in the end, I just realized he's a guy who's going to use me for money and nothing else. Brand Brandon and he's a said fake you're, Brandon said you're, that's bullshit. Bro, I'm going to come on to Brandon in a second, bro. Brandon better not start talking because, bro, the, that dude, he's fucked up. Y you know how in the stream three days ago, I, wa I watched that shit. And that dude came out of nowhere and said to yeah, said to Guess, you remember how Guess said, and this is coming from Brandon, Adam's the one that swatted Justin. And, bro, <laughs> I was laughing so hard about that shit because you know what the crazy thing is? This is, how, this, this is just an example of how much of a fucking retard Brandon is. So when she got swatted, um, it was like obviously a month ago, around a month ago mm. when she got swatted. And bro, I was there for her the whole time. She told me minutes after it happened and she called me up saying she got swatted. The first thing I did was I contacted her local sheriff's department and I told them what happened. And I kind of got her address blacklisted from being swatted. And they basically made a note on her address that people are trying to deliberately call to get her swatted and stuff they did that and then i tried to get an investigation open so a sheriff uh one of the deputy sheriffs took her contact number and they said they'd contact her back to take more details about the about what happened and they basically try and open an investigation about it so answer this bro you tell me bro you have a brain you're a small guy you tell me this if i swatted her which I would not, never do. I'd never hurt her because I'm not like that. I'm not a fucking weirdo or a freak that would swat her. And she never even did anything to... If I swatted her, why would I go and get a case open with the sheriff's department? Am I trying to put myself into jail or what? Like, bro, it makes no sense. Mm -hmm. You can ask her. You can ask Justin. She'll verify it for you. I literally contacted the cops in front of her on call. If I'm the one that swatted her, why would I take any risk of contacting the cops afterwards to try and catch who did it? I'm not trying to put myself behind bars. That's for one. Then two, this is the crazy part. A few days after, I spoke to Brandon on Telegram. Um, basically, just to, just to talk to him because I hadn't talked to him for a while. Uh, and I basically just mentioned about how she got swatted and that I, uh, I contact the, contacted the cops about it. And I'm basically trying to help her out. And... Uh, he basically started bragging and saying that, oh, yeah, it was that nigga sad past. And he was saying it was, he literally said out of his own mouth, bro, that it was sad past who did it. Like he admitted out of his own mouth that sad past is the one who swatted her. He knew that he, that sad past did it. He knew that sad past did it herself. And she basically said she's going to try and be cool with him so he doesn't do shit again. And then he even, he tried to flex on me and he goes, um, on the, on the website, I'm not going to name the website, but the website where her docs was uploaded. He basically tried to flex on me and said, oh, I contacted the admins of the website and they removed okay, the Okay, okay, hold so. on, hold on, hold on. This is getting messy. So Brandon just said a couple, like a minute ago, he, she said, uh, he said that you order her pizza without her knowing. And then he just said show proof because he showed your girlfriend um, the messages and stuff. So something's going on. So you, you don't... What you, messages? Messages about what? Bro, the pizza thing is... Bro, that's so irrelevant. And it's like a tiny... It makes no... Like, it, bro, this is what's funny. Because honestly, see how I'm talking about him lying about me claiming that I swatted it. I'm talking about that. And then he's bringing pizza. Up. Like, bro, the dude knows that he's about to get violated and exposed. Like, that dude has no idea what's coming for him. Because, bro, if someone's saying a fact... If someone's saying a fact about something that I seriously did, that's understandable. What I hate most 
is little fucking pussies like him who are going to lie and put fake things on, on my name and lie on my name. That's what I don't fucking like. And for that reason, he knows what kind of violation he's about to get. Go tell him to show me screenshots right now about me supposedly claiming I swatted her. I've never said, I've never once at any point um, spoke to him directly saying that I swatted her or anything. I don't even know what he's talking about. Go tell him, show what screenshots you I'm should, waiting. You should, read it, you should read his chat because he's typing like crazy. I can't. Keep keep up. Bro, like, I'm not even gonna bro, I'm not even gonna read his chat, bro. I'm sitting here to basically violate that bitch and violate everyone else who's talking shit on my name for no reason and hating on our relationship. That's all I'm doing. I don't give a fuck what he has to say. He should care about what I have to say. Cause honestly, bro, that thing is not gonna have a leg to stand on when I'm done. So there's literally clear I've just told you two reasons that like literally two ways of proving that I didn't swat her. Like, I could put it on God, bro. I swear on God. I swear on everything I love. I never swatted her. I was there for her during, like, tough times. And I was helping her out through a lot of shit mentally and stuff. Why on earth would I go and swat her for absolutely no reason whilst helping her out at the same time? That's the kind of shit he does. And I'm going to tell you more about that. That's He's the fucking bipolar retard, not me. It makes no sense whatsoever. K Katie, and he's literally a liar. K Katie said that... That your girlfriend, Jezexa, was tripping over her while flirting with you. No, I'm going to come on to that. I'm going to come on to that. That okay. bitch better shut her mouth as well. Because I'm going to come on to that as well. She's not going to have a leg to stand on either when I'm done talking about her. Or her fucking pussy boyfriend. Who tried to put his name in my mouth for no reason. This is the thing, bro. Like, look, deadass, I was asleep. I hate this shit. I don't like this fucking beef, bro. I'm literally... I don't spend my time beefing with these little internet weirdos. I'm trying to work on her relationship, uh, our relationship, and uh, we're meeting soon. Like, I don't know if you if you heard in the stream three days ago, we're meeting soon. Uh, I don't know if she told you that. So, she did, she did. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, big things are coming, bro. I'm going to treat her the best that she's ever been treated. I'm going to keep her happy. I'm going to treat her the way that she deserves, you know, like a real guy. And uh, these guys are just fucking mad, that's all. They're mad that she's moved on and she's happy with me, that's all. They're all fucking fake ass friends, fake ass fucking weirdos, and yo, I got, yo. For, for the simple reason that they put they put my name in their mouth for no reason. Like Brandon, I don't give a fuck about Brandon. Know his petty existence. I don't care about that dude. He's been on my dick so bad for the past weeks, like it's crazy, and I've just been ignoring him. But at this point, I'm sick of the fucking dude. So he's gonna get violated. Same with that bitch, Katie. Same with her boyfriend. Like, bro, they just don't know when to stop. Anyways. So, about me swatting her, I've literally just told you, bro. Like, I could put it on everything I love. I swear to fucking God, I didn't swat her for shit. And that's a crazy fucking thing to say, uh, for Brandon to say, when he literally admitted out of his own mouth that it was Sad Pass who did it. And, and he literally claimed that he removed the docs from the, from the website that it was on. So, if he removed the docs, then obviously he would have seen it as well. And if you see it, it's literally, it shows that it was uploaded by Sad Pass. And he's the guy that swatted her. Like, the dude literally had his Instagram in the bio of it. And he even admitted to it himself that he did it. So I don't know what the fuck this dude's talking about. That's for one. Number two, the fact that he's going to go off and start saying that I swatted her. He's trying to get fucking... He's trying to put lies on my name. I'm not going to lie on his name. I'm going to say facts about that dude. Bro, how is that guy going to try and claim that I swatted her when he's literally he said, a fucking... He said you internet. tried to get him arrested. That you snitched on him. Bro... No, I didn't snitch on him. Number one, number one, he's saying that I snitched on him like I'm his friend. I'm going to come on to that. He's trying to say that I snitched on him like I'm his friend. Me and him have never been cool from the start because he's always been a fucking weirdo to me. Like right from the start. Every time I try to trust that guy or I was like, I was real to him, he'd always make me regret it afterwards. So that's when I realized that this dude's just a fucking piece of shit. Just like he's been with Justin. Bro, like look at the dude, bro. 10 minutes before I joined this call, you know when he texted Justin? What? He's like, I'm going I'm to I'm tell Katie to show your screenshots of your chats with her. And bro, a day before that, he's like, oh, you're my best friend and I'm here for you. And this and that. And he's trying to fucking help her. Two days before that, he's like, oh, I'm your best friend. I'm here for you. The guy's so bipolar. One minute he'll be your friend. The next he'll be sucking your op's fucking dick. Like that's how the guy is. He's on a new dick every fucking week. When Justin broke up with her ex... The first thing he did was he ran to her and fucking backed her up against her ex. And he was talking mad shit about her in that big stream that happened. Mad shit about Austin, sorry, in that big stream that happened. Bro, two days later, she said one thing to him that he didn't like.
neck or something. He went and ran to her fucking ex, and then that, he was backing her up. And now he's he's uh, he's he's siding with both of them. Like the dude's so bipolar and unstable. It's crazy. Like I don't know what happened in his life, but bro, that dude needs to get checked out. He's not okay. So he's talking about me trying to get him arrested and shit. I'm gonna come on to that. So. You know how Brandon does Instagram services, right? Like yeah, he yeah. he bans supposedly bans and unbans pages, bro. I'm gonna tell you what that dude actually does, okay? Because bro, I've had enough of this nigga trying to talk shit about me. So you, you know what he actually does? Oh, go ahead. You know, no, no, go ahead. What did you have to say? No, I was like, are you about to, you really about to go all out? You about to state all the out, all out? This bro, this dude's fucked up. I told you, he's trying to talk shit about me. He she. I'm glad I got the chance to come on this fucking stream. That's what I told Justin. Just wait till I come on this fucking stream. Because the comeback was going to be wild. And here I am. So the fact that this dude's talking about me swatting people and saying that I try to lock him up. I'm going clear, to clear that up with you right now. So you know how this dude supposedly does Instagram bans and unbans and shit. And Instagram services. I'm going to tell you what this dude actually does. And now everyone on the stream, listen to this fucking carefully. Because it's actually funny and sad at the same time. This dude doesn't just ban and unban Instagrams for people. What he does is he sits on his phone like a fucking no life all day and he looks on Instagram for models and entrepreneurs and people who are rich and have money and he'll go and ban their Instagram page and then he'll send them emails and spam them on their other social media saying, I was paid to take your page down. If you want your page recovered within 24 hours, contact me otherwise it's going to be permanently disabled and then he'll blackmail them so bad he'll be like oh if you don't pay me 5k i'm a perm your page if you don't pay me this much i'm a perm your page and then the people that go ahead and pay him they'll he'll reactivate their page and then a day later he'll ban them again and make them pay him again to get their page back and over and over and over he just milks people out of brandon, money brandon said like he's the gonna join the call a... are you okay with that bro go tell him join the call right now tell him let's see what he has to say let's see what he has to say I'm a, he's literally, he can come on this call with me one-to-one -one right now. Let's see what he has to say. He has nothing to fucking say. And right before he joins the call, I'm going to just say this. Bro, the fact that he's trying to say that I locked him up is crazy. Like, I don't give a fuck about that, dude. I'm going to just make that clear. What happened is the amount of people this guy has blackmailed. Like, bro, I can literally give you examples of... Uh, like women out there, like and dudes who this guy has stolen so much money from, and that they've literally. Where did nigga go? Hey, bro, you here? What the fuck just happened? Chat, am I here? Am I here? Chat, what the hell just happened? Oh, shit got hella quiet. Oh, shit. Hey, bro, you there? Chat, am I here? Austin, can you hear me, bro? What, you just called me, nigga? Hey, bro, what did you just call me? Bro, I said Austin. <laughs> Hey, don't, 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 be coming, don't be calling me my, my government name. <laughs> <laughs> Call me low key, dog. All right. We, oh, oh shit, that's Brandon right there. All right, what I'm going to let you. Go ahead. What is this bitch to say? No, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Let's talk facts. Don't talk okay. shit. Let's talk facts. You little bitch, nigga. You a bitch, nigga. You trying to snitch me out. What happened? I'm still here. You're mad, bro. I can. I'm still bro, here. I'm still here. I'm still here. Voice, I'm mad. still here. I'm still here. I'm still here because I'm sick. You fucking retard. But I'm still here. Why are you being quiet? Oh. Why is bro being quiet? Uh, are you here? Yeah, bro. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, bro. Like okay, question. look. Nah, bro. I was, I was, I was, I was looking. You want to talk bro. about scamming? Do you want me to get Adam Quinn in the car right now? You scam from fifty k, nigga. No. You're poor. Okay, you're okay. poor. No, 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 you're no, poor. no, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Let me speak. You're let's poor. Talk facts. You're poor. No, no, no. Let me. Let's talk facts. Let's talk facts. How we come are every facts, single? Fuck? How come every? No. Look, how come every single person in the IG community? Every single person. When I used to do stuff on Instagram. How come every single person 
was coming at me for working with Adam Quinn at the time and coming at me for working with you. Every single person I know was spamming my DMs. Nigga, you're a bitch for working with Brandon. You're a bitch for working with Adam Quinn. They're the biggest scammers in the com. How could Nigga, everyone you never saying worked that? with Adam no. Quinn. You never worked yes, with Adam Quinn. Yes, I did work with Adam Quinn. Yeah, no I worked with him for a two for, I worked with him for a week and a half before. No, you before fucking didn't, him. you stupid fuck. No, you scanned him for 15k. Yeah. You're fucking. No, I'd go and ask it. I've got screenshots, bro. <laughs> Do you want me to get him in the car? Do you want me I to get him in the car? I did one for him. Do you want go me to get, get him, him in the, the car? car? Yeah, go right now. Bring him in the car right now. He literally, if he's not a lying ass bitch, he'll admit to you that I worked with him for two weeks. Oh, uh -oh. you that can't because you thought you could unban no. his account. You don't have a rep, nigga. You're a bitch. No, 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 no. You fake about having rep.